Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mario back again with our YouTube video. Today's video, guys, I am going to talk about Ethermont, but I'm specifically going to focus on battling Ethermont in the central land, but more of the attack strategies. I know some of you probably have already battled on Ethermont in the central land, but they find it a little bit confusing, a little bit harder to understand, and probably don't know any strategies and how to really fight and take advantage of every single move. So you're able to beat your opponent efficiently uh, and win. Now, I'm also going to go over how to maximize your time when you're battling. Every time you log into the central line to battle your Ethermont or to level up your Ethermont, I'm going to cover uh, maximizing your time strategies as well as collecting silver tickets, collecting marks, because it all matters, guys. You want to maximize your time. Your time is very, very important when you're in uh, the central line using your Ethermon. So I'm going to go over all those details, guys. Now, if you have any questions, guys, please ask down below in the YouTube comments, guys. Don't forget to ask questions down below. And please support this channel and smash that like button and so subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. I do post videos all the time about Ethermon, NFTs, all that kind of cool stuff. So if you are, this is something that you are focusing on. Hey, subscribe down below and you guys have a lot of stuff you guys have to learn. All right. So let me uh, share my screen, guys. So let's get started, okay? So what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to share my screen really quickly. Um, and I am going to start by showing you guys where I'm at. So I am right now in, and if I, if I were to go to kind of show you guys where I'm located, I am in the example six here in a 3D battle in the wild in the central line. Now, I am trying to build uh, this Ethermon. It's a uh, Sia furlough. Uh, it's actually a bear bong. I just actually recently bought it. So I do want to uh, build this Ethermon. I do want to grow it. I do want to level it up. So I'm going to start by, of course, uh, fighting a Grass Slime level one. The reason why is because uh, my Ethermon is level one as well. So I don't want to start battling. Now, one thing I want to mention, um, the, when you start battling, as soon as you start battling, the, the um, what do you call it? The uh, attack that you want to use is throw. And the reason why I recommend throw is because it's the fastest one. Um, you don't have to specifically be anywhere close to the, your opponent. Um, and I know right now you guys are not able to see uh, what is going on because of the angle. All right, I'm going to give you guys a better angle. Here you go. That's a better angle. So there you go. So see, that's the Ethereum right there. And uh, now it's at five. And yes, there you go. I want this one. So as soon as I win this battle, uh, uh, I do get this little uh, green bag. And if I click on this green bag, and I got one mark, and I got one silver ticket. Great. So um, I'm still good to go. Uh, let, me, um, let me get my, uh, my Ethermon so he starts following me. There he is. There she is. Now, the other thing I want to mention about maximizing time, uh, I highly recommend you to plant whether it be carrots or whether the case may be, I already have some plants right here uh, and they're already ready to go. So when I do, and this one's already ready to go too. So I, there's, I, I like this, uh, this uh, um, I, I guess, Battle Arena 6 because it has two um, uh, garden boxes. So I'm able to plant at the same time. And once they're ready to, to uh, use, I could feed them to my Ethermon. Now, what I'm going to do is really quickly, now go to the next Ethermon. I want to look for a level two, a level one. Let's see if I can find another level two or a level one. There's a level two right there. And I am going to attack. So as soon as attack, I'm going to start using the throw. So if you guys see on top of the, 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 the opponent's uh, Ethermon, you see that 102. That's our battle power, the battle health. Uh, every throw, I guess it looks like it's taking around seven points. So every time I hit it, it goes negative seven. So I keep throwing it because um, I keep clicking at it because I want to be first. You know, as you guys can see, every time I hit him, yeah, you know, sometimes I, I get two or three hits before he hits mine, me. So that's what I want to do. I want to be the fastest. And every time he hits me, of course, he does a dollar, do a lot more damage, but, I'm a, um, but I am a little bit faster. So to me, that's more important. Um, you know, more important than even like defending or evading because by the time I try to defend or evade, he might already hit me. So I don't, you know what I mean? And I, I trust me, I've done this so many times already, guys. And what I realized is, is that you want to just be first. You want to just continue to pick at it, pick at it, pick at that, at that Ethermon's level. 
And even, you know, it's, even though it's only, I'm only getting like a small amount, like seven, seven, negative seven uh, points on every hit, I'm still able to be first. So that's what I recommend guys to, to slowly build your, your Ethermon. Now I'm continuing to throw, throw this and I, he's defending some of this stuff, which is perfectly fine to me is that I want to be first and I want to continue to, to hit this guy. So Okay, so I'm almost, oh, he's been evading some of the stuff. He's been defending some of, the, some of the hits. But, you know, the more I throw at it, the more I throw at it, he will be ended up getting hit. So I'm going to continue to battle it until this is over. And it looks like he, he did uh, beat me here. So um, he did beat me. I no longer have any more battle power. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to feed this carrot and see if I, by feeding it, I'm able to uh, battle it again. So I got this carrot. Actually, first, let me make sure that my ethermon is following me. And now I'm gonna get this carrot. All right, let's get this carrot, baby. There you go. I got the carrot. And now I'm going to give it to, uh, to see a furlough. That's what I named my, my bear ball. Oh, where is it? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, there it is. Where, where did you go? There you are. Okay. So I just fed it to it and it looks like he got some energy. So where is he? Okay, there she is. All right, so I'm gonna see if I could battle that same. And I'm gonna try to attack it. Okay, there you go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go again. Ooh, I beat it. There you go. So good. So I finally beat this one, um, and it looks like um, uh, doesn't look like I got any any uh, any green bag this time. That's okay. It happens sometimes. You don't get the green bags, but that's perfectly fine, guys. So in the meantime, what I want to do is um, I do want to grow a uh, cucumber. So when I'm while I'm battling, I want to make sure that at least something is growing, so I'm able to get points, so I'm able to to kind of grow, uh, to be able to keep fighting. So. I'm gonna look for another uh, Ethermon. I'm gonna look for uh, level two, level one, or if not, I'm gonna go with level three. Okay, that's a level six. Okay, I'm gonna see what else is out there. That's a level 10, definitely don't wanna fight that one. Again, my Ethermon is still level one. So I wanna make sure that I'm only battling uh, Ethermon. They're in the same level as me or uh, close to my level. So, so far I only see level three. So I'm gonna have to go with a level three. Cause that one, yeah, that one's a level nine. Yes, level nine. Okay, level three it is. So I'm gonna attack it. So, all right, so I'm gonna start going with the throw. So you guys can see, every time it hits me, it hits me like, like 90 pounds. So we'll see how far, how, how far, how much I can last. And I got negative nine. So I'm just like going with the throw, the throw attack. I'm just clicking the throw attack, trying to be the first, trying to be the fastest. Uh, you know, okay. It looks like he beat me. So I'm pretty much done. Um, I am going to get the other one. Now that's a, um, is that a carrot? Or is that a cucumber? Let me see. Oh, that is a carrot. So I'm going to pick up this carrot that I already had earlier today. And I am going to feed it to uh, see again. There you go. Got some hunger and some health. And I'm going to see if I'm able to battle again. So there it is, the number three. I'm going to press attack. All right. So I'm going to go with hit, throw. Sorry about that, guys. I messed up the view. All right, there you go. I'm going to go again. 
my god throw Ooh, i won yes i beat it sweet so here you go i got a green little bag i got a silver ticket and i got a mark awesome 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 so uh, I guess in the meantime, a, I'm going to grow something else. I'm going to grow, you know what? I'm going to grow another carrot. Ooh, if I want a carrot, I got to buy it. So let me see what else I have. It looks like, uh, let me see what I have. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. oh, wait, there's another green bag. Let me get this baby. Yes, 10 marks, sweet. Okay, let me see what I can grow. Okay, so I got a cucumber that I picked up before. So I'm going to grow that and I'm going to see if this cucumber is ready. Yep, this cucumber is ready. I'm going to feed it to uh, Sia. There you go. It's got some energy, got some health. All right, let's see what else we could battle. So this is a slime level 10. Uh, this one's level nine. And oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, where is that? Okay, that's a level 10, level nine. Let me see what this is. It's a level six and I believe that's pretty much it. I did battle, battle some earlier today, guys, to kind of figure out this, this attack modes. Again, guys, the throw button is the best one, and I'm not the first one to mention it. I also have seen some other uh, Ethermon battle players say the same thing. So um, I'm going to go with the throw right away. I'm just going to keep clicking through until either I win or I lose. So, um, you know, if you guys could see their number, it's going from 95 to negative – you know, every time I hit it, it's negative seven. So now it's 88. If I hit it again, it should be another minus seven, 81. So I'm just going to keep hitting it, keep hitting it with the same, same throw. And again, the reason why I like the throw is because it's faster. You know, by the time the other, the opponent tries to figure out what to do, I've already hit it like two or three times. You know, that's why the reason why I really, really like the throw button. Uh, so, I, you know, I just keep throwing it, keep throwing it, keep throwing it uh, until we'll see what happens. So I'm going to keep throwing this. Keep throwing the evade. So come on. I mean, he's actually got it evaded my throw. So I'm going to just keep throwing this bad boy. Okay, so now he's got 60. Let me see what else I could get. Ooh, he got me good on this one. Okay, so he won this one. Um, so what I'm going to do. Ooh, this cucumber. Okay, so I'm going to plant this cucumber. Let me see if the other one is ready already. Let me see if the other cucumber is ready. Where is the other one? Uh, once, uh, one minute. Okay. So in this case, what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to change my Ethermon. Um, I have Kendrick Lamar right here. Uh, that's one of my other Ethermons that I, I am actually looking to battle to, to kind of level up. So I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to battle the same Ethermon, the same grass line Ethermon that I just battled earlier. Uh, and, and I'm going to try to finish it try to like make this win before it's over sorry so again i'm gonna throw this so okay so it's negative 46 i don't know it's at 46 so if you see mine right here i'm, I'm at 1200 but every time it hits me now it hasn't fully loaded that's why it looks like that there you go now it's fully loaded but every time that uh that um the grass slime hits me it takes like 100 points and every time i hit it it barely takes out seven points and the reason why is because it's a higher level, um, you know, see negative 231, which is kind of crazy. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to uh, 11, come on. I probably two more hits and I, and I should be able to win this battle. All right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, 31. Okay, wow, it took some of my stuff, man. It, took, it used a, a leech. Leech life actually takes some of their life. So, oh, he bit, beat me right there. So, okay. So what I'm going to have to do now, I'm going to have to go to, actually, let me see if um, any of the cucumbers are ready. Okay, that one, this won't be done in 14 seconds. Actually, this one's already ready. This cucumber is ready. So I'm going to get... See a further again. And I am going to feed it the uh, cucumber. So hopefully I'm able to battle it again. Okay, so where are you, Sia? Where are you? Oh, there she is. There she is. Okay, there you go. 
It ate it. Okay, good. Oh, no, look, guess what? The other cucumber is ready too. So I'm going to grab it and I'm going to feed it to, uh, to see again. There you go, eating, got some points. All right, well, let's battle now. This is, I believe this is the one. Okay, there you go. Okay. So negative seven, negative seven. So one thing that I've noticed is some of these uh, opponents do use, they use it the defend mode. I mean, excuse me, the leech life, which is right here, leech life. And they're able to get some, um, some power. They're able to steal some of my power. So their level, level goes up. And I've seen that a lot, actually. Uh, I haven't tried it uh, because, again, my goal is to try to finish as soon as possible. So it looks like it beat me. Um, and that's okay. So what I'm going to do, I am going to plant some more cucumbers. Oh, one more cucumber left. All right, two minutes. And the other box, I am going to plant a beet. And beets take like five seconds. In the meantime, I am going to have to switch to another ethermon because I'm going to go with scavers. Scavers, another ethermon that I want to build. Uh, let me see where it is. Okay, so there it is. There it is, finally loaded up. Oh, sorry about that, guys. So I'm gonna go battle this level six slime. Okay, so I'm gonna use a throw. All right, two more hits and I should be able to beat him. As long as it doesn't use leech life, I should be able to beat him. Come on, one more. Yes, I beat him finally. Okay. Did I get any other bags? Is there any bags? No, there's no bags. Okay, that's okay. All right. So I guess what I'm going to do now, I guess I'm going to look for the next Seathamon to, to beat. Uh, this one's level nine. And this one is level... 10. So I guess I'm oh, actually, I guess I'm going to go fight the level nine first before I fight the level 10. So where's level nine? Where are you level nine? There he is. Boom. Attack. All right. So right away, I'm going to start using the throw. Come on. Boom. I beat him. I, I think the reason why I was able to beat this one um, faster because I was battling it earlier today with another um, Ethermon. Uh, so I guess kind of slowly uh, already took his energy. So I guess this one's the only one left. So I'm going to fight this one really quickly and I'm press attack. Okay. Go with the throw. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, the views got a little bit messed up. There you go. So the goal is to be the fastest in the throw. Again, the throw is the fastest one. So I'm just going to stay here until, oh, there you go. It looks like it beat me. So it looks like Scabbers is done. Uh, I, guess, I guess what I'm going to do now, I am going to go back to see a furlough. Um, and the reason why is because it looks like this. Uh, let me see. There's a cucumber. Yes, this cucumber is ready to go. So I am going to feed this to, to Sia. Where are you, Sia? Where are you? Uh, sometimes I move too fast. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Where are you? Okay, I'm about to change the mode. There it is. There you go. Just ate it. So let's begin this battle. 
Actually, you know what? Let me feed it the feed it feed it the uh, the beat too. All right, fitted the beat. Now let's do some battling and let's attack. Oh, mine is busy. Okay, there you go. Okay. I wanna see what level this is my, okay. See that? It's 85. Okay. Looks like it beat me. So, oh no, actually, yeah, it beat me. So I'm gonna go, I guess, I'm gonna go with this other uh, ether mine that I also wanna build. It's, uh, it's an eel type of looking Pokemon, uh, excuse me, uh, Ethermon. Uh, you can barely see it, but it's there floating up. So let me begin this battle so we can get started. All right, let's do this throws. Come on. <clears throat> Is it possible? For me to win is possible. I mean, if you take a look at it, you know, I already hit it like a couple times. Again, the throw is the best one, in my opinion, because you're able to, you're faster, you're, you're, you know, by the time the other Ethermon tries to figure out what to do, you already hit it like two or three times. So that's the reason why I like this one. And I'm just going to continue to hit it, continue to hit it until it's pretty much over. Either I win or I lose, whatever happens. Uh, you know, so right now my opponent is at 22. And you saw the last hit. That took negative 700 points, which is pretty insane. And I'm pretty much done. This Ethermine is done. So I'm going to have to switch it to another one. I'm going to go, um, let me see. So I've already used all four. Uh I do have more Ethermon actually. And I am gonna go the bubbles. Bubbles. Actually, I'm, I chose a different one. Red eyebrows, which is a another hand press, but what I want to do is I want to just finish this character because I think it only has like 22 and I want to get, there you go. So there you go. All right, two more hits and I should be able to win. One more hit. Come on, give me one more hit. Yes, it's over. I won. Now, my other Ethermon is actually over here. It's kind of loading up. It's somewhere in here. Like uh, sometimes what happens, it, it takes a while for them to load up. So that's it, guys. I officially beat all the Ethermon here, all the Grass Slime Ethermon, uh, all my Grass Slime Ethermon opponents. And uh, I mean, what, what I could do next um, to get some of the other stuff, of course, is having them dig. You know, when they dig, they get a little green bags and then I could collect stuff. There you go. See what I got this time. Silver ticket. Nice. You can have them dig and dig and dig. So they run out of energy and then yeah, 
see what I get. Beat. All right, guys, I'm pretty much done. So hope, guys, this kind of made sense. All this stuff made sense, guys. Uh, as a reminder, guys, the throw attack is the best one by far because by the time the other ether, the opponent ether man knows what's going on, you already hit it like two or three times. Uh, and again, that's the only one that I use that I recommend. So you're able to finish the battle faster and able to win. All right, guys, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask down below YouTube comments. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to YouTube channel. See you guys next time, guys. Take care.